Hey, Measuring Hero, Jay here. Uh, today, uh, we are. I thought uh, we would bring Dr. Jens Hansen back uh, because I realized after uh, our last conversation, there is a ton I have no idea about in regards to uh, CT uh, and basically uh, the underlying technology. And as you're well aware, I love to understand the underlying technology. So. Dr. Uh, Hansen said he would come back and uh, explain some of it to us. So, uh, Jens, thank you for coming back. Appreciate it. Hi, Jay. Thanks for much. Thank you very much for inviting me again. Of course, of course. Okay. Um, uh, as as we spoke l last time, you really got me thinking and 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 trying to understand uh, uh, the world of CT scanning in regards to industrial metrology. But I just realized that there are just a lot of things. Uh, uh, about the technology and I understand. So uh, in particular, could you ex help uh, explain to me, to us, uh, what it means, uh, what does voltage or power mean uh, in regards to CT scanning? Because I, I hear that term a lot out there. Mm -hmm. Sure. So let me remind you on the basic principle. So the basic principle was to penetrate X-ray an X-ray beam through objects and then detect it on a detector. And this this beam has some kind of um, properties. Yeah. And, and now this power discussion always going on. So it's, re it's directly related to the technical specification of the X-ray tube, which generates this X-ray beam. And as higher this power is, as more and as more powerful, as more energetic photons it can emit. And that means you can penetrate through um, denser and also thicker material. So if you have, let's talk about the application itself. If you have small plastic parts, which is a less dense material and which are mostly pretty small, has a less wall thickness than other uh, parts, yeah, um, then you don't need any. You don't need as much power as it is. The the opposite is the um, is is the key, so to say. If um, if you have a small, if you have less power, you have a small size of the optics which emits the X-ray beam, and that means you have um, a very good optical um, um, optical properties in order to resolve this um, object on your detector. So. Meaning a higher voltage penetrates through thicker and denser material, but also uh, leads to, um, let's say, um, larger, we say focus spot, meaning you have, um, you, you, don't, you have less resolution at the end of the day. Okay, so it's like a dot size. So, so uh, in my terms then, uh, uh, the larger power allows you to penetrate denser material, but you have a bigger dot or like in a CMM world, like a bigger ruby sphere. Um, and if you have a, a lower power, uh, you don't have as much power to, to, to go through denser material, but the sphere is smaller so that you can uh, uh, kind of like that, right? So if you need finer uh, resolution or a finer sphere, you need less power. Uh, and that, but if you, uh, uh, but sometimes if you have less power, to get that finer uh, resolution, you won't get enough to see through. That's the challenge. Uh, exactly. There. So what you, you you need to actually uh, exactly adjust this power to your object. If you have a very dense and thick object, for example, a cylinder head, um, 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 iron um, aluminium casted cylinder head, and you want to penetrate through it because you want to see any defects inside. So you need to adjust the power and the voltage, so to say, um, in order that you can. Um, that you can see through it. If you have too less power, it would be um, only mirroring um, the, the object on the detector without any de um, without any details. If you yeah, have too a much fuzzy mess, yeah. Exactly. If you have too much power, you're just looking through it, like you're looking through a window outside. There nothing nothing uh, is in between, and um, um, actually um, attenuate. The, the beam in such a way that you can see the um, that you can see anything on the detector itself. Okay, and that's why you said uh, last time we spoke, you talked about our ability to do uh, uh, the algorithm to do multiple uh, um, 
materials is so important because mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah the two different properties uh, makes it difficult for a single laser source to, to, to go through that makes sense now exactly okay so we brought up resolution then uh, and as, as uh, spot size uh, is there anything else uh, beyond that uh, when we talk about resolution if you, yes, exactly. If you talk about resolution, you mostly mean that you have the voxel size of your image. Voxels are volume pixels. Same as on your on your screen on the computer or at the TV screen, you have small little dots which are combining combined to an image at the end. And this is pixels. And if you have this in three dimensions, like you generate a 3D data volume out of the CT, you get voxels. Which are which are cubes of the same size, and okay. if we're talking about voxel size, we can each voxel has a, ha, has a certain size, and then it resolves in a uh, is an, in an image. Yeah, and um, when we talk about resolution, we are mostly talking about these um, resulting voxel size of the objects which will be generated, <clears throat> and um, then you can calculate back what kind of resolution do I need in order to see a certain defect? Let me give an example again, cylinder head, um, aluminum cylinder head casted, and you want to see defects of a size of about a millimeter inside, pores, cracks, residuals, whatever. You need a resolution of um, a third of this size. So let's say it's a 300 microns. Voxel size is needed in order to um, detect such a defect of a size of a millimeter in diameter. And so you can, um, this depends also on your object size, but if you know what kind of defect, this is the most important question, so to say, if someone asks me, can I see such and such um, defect? I always ask, what is the size of the defect you expect? And then he said a millimeter, and then we can calculate back with a certain size of the object. And um, with the size of the defect, you can calculate what kind of resolution is necessary in order to see this defect. And then we can uh, um, set this back to the properties we need to, um, to the parameters we need to set up uh, for the scan. Yep, yep, perfect. So, so that makes total sense because to me in my world, I'm a product manager for uh, optical systems and we do the exact same thing. We need a pixel resolution uh, to measure a defect. So to us, we calculate uh, the field of view, versus the uh, uh, camera pixel size and we, we get a pixel resolution and then we have a rule of thumb similar to what you said which is you need about uh, 25 pixels to, to measure a feature so for us we can calculate back uh, what a product uh, my product uh, has a 3 micron pixel resolution so I can roughly calculate what my smallest feature size is based on a pixel resolution now that I understand from your explanation that a voxel is just a 3D pixel, it's really the same thing that we do in metrology done in 3D. Uh, and thank you for explaining what voxel is because that's a term that gets thrown out there that, you know, sometimes, you know, there's an assumption that people know what that is and I don't know what that is. Uh, but it's really just a 3D pixel, which we use all the time in in uh, in uh, the metrology world, so uh, that makes a ton of sense. So uh, 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 Jens, thank you uh, for those um, uh, explanations. I think for me, uh, this will definitely spur my um, uh, questions. Uh, if if uh, uh, if I can think of a new question, or if uh, in the comments someone has a question, would you be willing to come back and uh, maybe? Uh, build on what we just learned and uh, ask some questions. Absolutely, yes, I'm absolutely. I'm happy to share this, and uh, if there is anything more to explain, I, I will do it for sure. Perfect, perfect. Well, thanks for joining us once again. We really appreciate it. And uh, for you out there, uh, thank you again for uh, joining us. We uh, hope you continue to stay home, stay healthy, and uh, we'll see you next Thursday. Cheers, bye.